to him. Tillian. Go to him. Tillian He's trying to save him. Move away. Senua, move away. I feel it. You'll die. Can you feel it? You're dying. The burning has begun. Dying. The, burning. the burning has begun. Don't stick it. It, it, it is. What it is. Run. Run. Focus. 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 Two more. Two more to change. Where are they, Senua? Where's Dillian? Where are you? Don't let it see you. Don't get lost. Don't let it see you. You'll start to burn. You'll burn. There it is. Move away. Run. Run now. What shall I do? Where's your sword? Defend yourself. What is that creature? You can't defend it's Dillion. yourself. It's Dillion. Find the creature. Where's Dillion? Where are we? The light. The Go towards it. Find Focus. 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 Look. One more. To find one more. One more. Uh, find the other symbol. The lost. Sano, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make no trouble. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the soul? What if we're wrong? The soul will never be wrong. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know. It's just their game. For Sigmund's you. sister trades shifts with a sorceress. <laughs> and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him.
I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. You can feel it. You can feel his presence. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said he would. He, he's close. He cares about you. You can feel he's close. He loves you. You can feel his love calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. Dillian, we're nearly here. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through. Where is he? Where is he gone? 
We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. He was the only one who didn't mind the curse. He loved her so. Senwa, you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. Look what happens to the things we love. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. You broke him. You killed him. You couldn't see the darkness within you.
the way he touched you. Do you remember the way he stroked your hair? Do you remember the way he felt? You can't go up you there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. You're still alive and Dillian's dead. Friendship turned to love. How does that make you feel? The shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two gods. That of Zinbel and her past. 
and Dillian a future two realities tearing at our soul Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Balder return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Balder stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Balder, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Balder was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. The way he touched you. You You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? His love has tortured you, and it tortures them. You have no chance. He was the only one who didn't He loved us so The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He's the reason she keeps fighting. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Do you remember how he made you? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if they're a trick? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind. It does go. World. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Zimbel was right. You're wasting time. You're cursed. And you succeed. Slow, slow, quicker. You broke him. You killed him. You couldn't see the darkness within you.
Dillian cared for her. Wasting your time, Jim. By minute, by minute. <laughs> what does she think she's doing? <laughs> you special. She thinks she can. <laughs> they mean nothing. It wouldn't be it. the first time. Dillian! <laughs> be quick. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. Very good. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. We had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinra. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world. You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. Everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. I think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. 